Same thing, exactly. Oh, I like it. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we got the, oh shoot, that's heavy. Uh, the exotic gem from Roto Grip. We got the heavy 16 pound ball because Jungo is back on the lanes, our Storm, Roto Grip, and 900 Global Specialist. And he's gonna be comparing this new exotic gem to the original gem and the infinite physics. And to make sure that this is the most fair comparison possible, we have polished both the infinite physics and the original gem to match this finish. So this core is the same one in the original gem, which is the Define LRG. And it also has the Microtrax Pearl Reactive cover stock. So we're expecting this ball to go slightly later than the original gem and then have a bit more in the back end. Jungle will be bowling on two patterns today. One, a house shot, super easy, a lot of room outside, inside, make sure that all these balls strike. And then secondly, we'll be going on titanium, 44 feet, a bit longer, a bit more difficult, and you'll see more of a difference between these three bowling balls. Special 4K video today. Hope you like the quality. Let's hope we see some quality shots from Jungo. Special thanks to all of our members. Thank you so much for joining our JR Pro Shop community. If you're looking to become a better bowler and receive special perks like early access to videos, coaching, and free merch, please consider becoming a member by clicking the join button below. That's enough in here. Let's go to Jungo on the lanes. What's up guys, Jungle is back. New exotic gem ball review. We throw it against the original gem, the solid. I polished it so it's the same as the exotic. I also polished the infinite physics. All got the same layout, so let's see how they roll. Let's start with this gem solid first. One shot here on the house shot. This original gem is like really rolly, early and smooth, but it's got a little polish on it now, so it should be a little bit better on the house shot. That ball out of the box is so early, so dull, it's it's almost impossible for me to use it actually. So I had to put some compound on it, some polish, and then it started rolling real well. And then the exotic gem came out, which I'd polished on it already, and the pearl, so should be pretty good. All right, same line with the exotic. We know both balls at box finish, the exotic's gonna be longer and sharper. So we put the box finish, or the finish at the same thing. Ooh, I thought I threw that pretty well. I went a little bit further downwind, a little bit more angular, I left a 4.9. I think I'm definitely seeing a little bit more hook at the back end, even when the gem is polished. All right, let's go two more to the left. I'm gonna hit the same break point. All right, not the best hit there, a little flat 10. I was lucky to get it out. So just the core, I think, in the gem just rolls really early, and the pearl polished cover stock is allowing it to push a little further than the original gem. So if you like the original gem, I would get this gem as well. It just goes a little bit longer, definitely sharper in the back end, even when they're both polished. All right, so that same shot, we'll just slow it down a little bit. That was better. Kind of like hook stops. Doesn't really continue like we saw with the Fate where that ball hooks and keeps hooking. This kind of hooks all at once and then rolls straight. All right, let's try the infinite physics from there. I feel like this asymmetrical pearl would be much closer to these two balls than the RSC X2. So we'll throw this one and see how it compares. Definitely a rounder shape. You can see the the hook shape wasn't as defined as the exotic gem. That little round shape there didn't quite hook enough to carry the 10. So let's slow it down a little bit more with the infinite. I think both the physics core and the gem core are very smooth rolling cores. So if you like one of these, you're gonna like the other two. Okay, let's just slow it down a little bit more. Yeah, it just doesn't cover enough boards. 
has the gem. The gem definitely hooks more boards. Let's move two back to the right, where we left a 4-9 with the exotic gem and throw the infant. I think it's gonna be really good. All right, this is where I left the 4-9 with the exotic gem. This ball's a little smoother off the spot, hooks a little bit less, so it should be good. Yeah, still left a nine, but definitely closer from that line. The Infant Physics is polished as well, just to match the cover stock, surface prep, just so we get a better read on what's what. So right now, the Infinite Physics and the gem are looking pretty close when they're polished. Still that gem on that same line again. Same line, just left the nine pin with the Infinite. So that last shot with the gem was a little bit further right than the Infinite. Still was able to make it back to the pocket, slap out the 10. The gem and the Infinite really close together when they're both polished like this, same layout, everything. Both got early rolling cores. It's just a different type of cover stock, right? The gem is a solid, infinite's a pearl, but they're very close in terms of reaction. All right, let's head over to the long pattern and see how they do on that. All right, halfway done the review for the exotic gem. I've got a question for you. If you're a field player or more of an analytical player, I know my bro, he has no idea what a layout is or what the mass bias is or anything like that. He just knows the pin needs to be up here somewhere and he throws his balls and he figures out where it fits in his bag based on that, how it looks going down the lane. But I know there's other players who are super analytical. They know exact numbers of their layouts, everything like that. Which kind of player are you? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, we're now on 44 foot titanium, a longer challenge shot. We were just got down on the house shot there where it kind of makes most balls look pretty similar in terms of boards hooked and shape wise, just because there's you know, a lot of room for error. So now we're on a long pattern where I think these balls are gonna be mostly used just because they are stronger and they roll a little bit earlier. We'll give it a shot. We're gonna start with the gem solid again. Feed on 30, we're gonna aim at uh, 20 here, the arrows. Because that gem is polished, it looks pretty good on the long. If it came out of box, I think it would be a little bit too dull for the long pattern. It would hook a little bit too early, be too smooth and uh, you'd never never carry the 10 pin. Polish is looking pretty good on the gem. Okay, we saw from the house shot, this exotic gem is a little bit longer, a little bit snappier than the polished gem. So we'll stand on the same spot and I think we'll hit flush. You can see that the boards covered is pretty similar. Maybe one more board from the exotic gem, but it definitely got that 10 out a little bit better. A little bit more snap on the back, which is what you're looking for on a longer pattern on the fresh. Okay, same shot. That ball gets down the lane really easy compared to the gem out of box. Right, the gem is really furry out of the box. This ball is really shiny. So for having the same core, the reaction difference is a lot. So even if I polish the gem, the exotic gem is still longer and sharper. It's a good sign, right? You don't want to have two balls in it. All right, let's move two to the left and slow it down a little bit. Didn't throw it that great. Didn't get 100% of the revs on it, but still made it back to the head pin. Only left the two, so that's a good sign, right? When you miss throw it, you just want to leave one pin to spare. I like it. All right, we'll throw the infinite physics now. On the same line we started with, with the gem and the exotic gem. So I'm thinking this will be a little bit too smooth. Probably leave a 10 pin. Ooh, seven. I was close though. As you can see, it's just too smooth. It doesn't have enough time to change direction and start going the proper way through the pins. So I think I would need like a 62 foot lane if I would use the infinite physics. It's just a little bit too smooth for this. Yeah, so if the uh, back ends are really fresh and the exotic gem is like too sharp, then like the polished gem or the infinite physics would look really good. But on this lane right now, it's just too smooth. Okay, one more with the infinite. Wow, same thing, exactly. Yeah, just too smooth. I don't think I'll strike from there ever. Okay, let's go back to the exotic gem, same line. This is where we started. I think this is the right line. Right, we just have to figure out the right ball for it. I think it's the exotic. Wow, that was good, I missed right. I missed one right at the arrow, so that's like two, maybe three boards right down lane. Still struck. For how early and how smooth the gem was, I was able to use it on like short patterns, shorter medium patterns. The exotic gem here looks like it's good for long. Okay, that was a good shot. That was right over 20 at the arrows. See how much better goes through the pins on the infinite? Just because it's a little sharper down lane. Right, it doesn't have to hook more. It just has to have the right shape into the pins. 
That one has the right shape being a little bit sharper. Okay, one more with the exotic, one more with the gem. Two more left, Let's slow it down a little bit. Yeah, that was perfect. This ball is good on long. Trust me on that. Okay, one more with the polished gem for comparison purposes on that same line. So I think this is just gonna be too smooth as well, right? Just like the infinite, leave a corner pin here. I was a little bit right, two pin, really smooth. Let's throw that one more time on the proper line. Yeah, that was a pretty good shot. Maybe a hair to the right at the break point. The exotic jam would have hooked from there and hit the pocket for sure, I think. I did it once already with that. So just a little bit smoother, maybe one or two boards less overall hook. We got two very good balls here complementing each other because I did polish the gem and we still have a reaction difference, oh, quite a bit of reaction difference. So having two gems in your bag, I think that's the way to go. They have two totally different reactions. One's really early, really smooth. The other one, different cover stock, really long, really sharp. So that's good. You don't want to have two balls too close together in your bag, right? So I think it's good, really good. All right, quick summary here on the exotic gem. I did polish the original gem and the infinite physics to go with the same cover stock prep as the exotic gem, just so we have a little bit fair comparison because we know the difference out of the box. And even then the exotic gem was a little longer and a little sharper than the gem when it was super polished. And you could really tell that on the longer pattern, right? The gem just didn't have enough teeth to get back in the back end too smooth, too early the exotic gem was able to create a little bit of room for me and I was able to play those angles that you need to play on the long pattern and I was able to strike. Even when I missed a little bit right, a little bit left, I was able to strike with the exotic gem just because it did turn the corner harder, go through the pins a little bit better and that's what you want. You want to be able to miss a little bit, still hit the head pin, still hit the pocket, still have a chance for a strike. The Infinite Physics is definitely the smoothest ball out of the three. You can tell on the long pattern here, it just doesn't have the bite in the back end to kick out the corner pin. I think I would shoot 190, all nine spares the whole game. And that's what the Infinite Physics, even being polished, as you can see in the picture. I know it's kind of hard to see in the video while I'm bowling, but the picture here, they are really shiny. I did the same surface prep as the Exotic Gem out of the box, and the reaction difference is still comparable, right? You can still have these balls in your bag. I would have the Gem and the Exotic Gem probably, uh, just because they have the same core. I haven't brought the gem anywhere with me to a tournament just because it is so early and so rolly. I just haven't found enough oil or a pattern for me to use it on. So, but I think I will be bringing the exotic gem. It's definitely in play on the longer patterns, really long, really sharp, definitely stronger than the X2, which is a good thing, right? So that would be a good one, two punch on a long exotic gem, not close at all to the regular gem. So if you have a gem, don't like it. Exotic gem is a totally different ball. But if you have a gem and you like it, you know, you like that core, the exotic gem might be the ball for you too. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget my question down below. Are you more of a field player or an analytical player? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching everyone. From all the boys here at JR Pro Shop. Lots of reviews coming up, lots of new balls. Stay tuned.